Hey everyone, 412 Sports Cards here today, back with another video. And today we're going to be going over what constitutes the true rookie uh, in the basketball card market. So we're going to look at some of the top sets, and we're going to discern some buying strategies from there for you guys for building your investments in your collections. So I guess kicking this off, a true rookie is not necessarily the most expensive card that a player has, but it's the card that people think of that comes to collectors and investors' minds when they think about buying a rookie card of a player. And as a result, because it's the first card that people think of and turn to, it's the one that's going to see the greatest return when a player gets hot. So you guys are going to want to own some of these. So let's get into it here. We're going to start with Prism, and we're kind of going to begin this discussion by talking about how, unlike baseball, what we see in basketball is that Chrome stock is the king. So here we have what a lot of people love, these Prism rookies. So they release early in November, I believe. It's pretty much, it's the first of these Chrome sets to release. So, I mean, it's got that going for it as far as being a true rookie. It's also a flagship brand that's been around since 2012. And I mean, as a result of that, the brand has a lot of power. And that's the kind of thing you like to see when you're looking for a true rookie, a powerful brand that's been around. And we're going to talk also, I mean, in addition to some of that qualitative stuff, it helps to have some pricing to kind of help inform the discussion. So we're going to talk about Luka Doncic PSA 10s in this video, because there are so many of them graded by this point that they're uh, pretty good numbers to base brand um, strength off of. Because that's really what we're talking about here with true rookies, is the strength of the brand of the card. Anyways, a base rookie PSA 10s and Prism of Luca go for $500. So that's kind of where we're going to start the discussion. And here we have this Optic um, Luca. This is uh, from 2018, obviously, his rookie year. They have the rated rookie logo up there. Once again, you like to see in a true rookie a fairly clean design. You got that here. I mean, it's a pretty simple design. Brand's been around since 2016, so not quite as long as Prism, but... Um, We've seen some interesting market dynamics with these. Um, they were selling for well below Prism until about fall of 2019 when they ran up in price, mainly driven by this card, the Luca, in fact, the Hollow or Refractor. And you'll see PSA 10s of these clocking in around $400. So they're selling pretty similarly to the Prism, um, which is pretty interesting, actually. It's, it sells pretty well, considering that a lot of people don't consider Optic as strong of a brand as Prism. Um, third, Chrome that we're going to talk about here is Select. Now, Select is an interesting case because each player doesn't just have one card, one image. They have three images. They have a Concourse, a Premier, and a Courtside, getting progressively more rare as you like move down the list. So Courtsides only fall like to a box, and this is a Courtside Luca. Um, but we're going to talk about the Concourse because that's kind of the standard rookie. I just happen to only own this Courtside. Um, but these are interesting. They come from a set that kind of has hit dominated. I mean, it has become base, but I mean, they sell it off of hits and it, like relic cards and autographs, which sometimes you don't see a lot with sets that have true rookies. Usually they're base heavy. So that's a little weird to me, um, but it is kind of a standard base card design. I mean, it looks kind of similar to the prism with that like silvery background for a lot of it, the chrome stock. And once again, these are currently on the rise as of very, very recently, we're seeing PSA 10s of Luca, the concourse, so not this one, the most common image, up at around 300 bucks, which is up quite a bit off where they used to be. And what we're seeing now here is kind of between Prism, Optic, and Select. These are what a lot of people consider to be like the three um, premier brands, which is kind of interesting. Um, but yeah, there also are some paper sets that get attention. Um, We'll talk here about Revolution. Um, it's a paper set. I mean, like in baseball, paper sets sell really well, but um, that has not been the case as much in basketball. Um, this one's a little bit more off the beaten path. It's a nice set. Um, images are cool. The shine is nice. But um, an issue with these is that you have a lot of parallels that have like different backgrounds. Like there are different patterns behind Luka Doncic's image. And that kind of makes it confusing um, from a collector's standpoint, uh, just honing in on what the regular rookie is. And I mean, that's kind of a detriment to this one. Um, PSA 10 still, I mean, are selling about 250 bucks, which is pretty strong sales. You also have got hoops, which is, uh, like the cheapest basketball set that Panini makes. 
and those in PSA 10 are selling around 175. So, I mean, you can see pretty clearly that Chrome is kind of the king here. So I guess that brings us, we've looked at all the stuff. What is the top set? I think it's safe to say the Prism's the top set. I mean, some of you might argue with me and go ahead and feel free to in the comments. I'd love to talk with you about it. But I think it's the longest, it's dating back to 2012. It's got the strongest brand. And I think that that is what makes it the true rookie. I mean, it's what people are seeking after the most. And now a quick note on these as we start to get into some buying strategies. Um, Prism has a ton of parallels and it can be kind of confusing because when you're talking about true rookies, you want to have ones that stand the test of time and ones that are iconic. So when you're talking about these, I would be interested in the base like this. I'd be interested in the silver like this that are common across all SKUs. You can get them in retail and hobby. Every type of pack you can get silvers in. So silver and base I would be interested in. And also, I mean, this is Landry Shamit, but also numbered parallels. They're just regular color like this. Solid colored number parallels like blue, uh, blue ice, like golds, obviously really rare, but like stuff like that. I would get base, silver, and like regular colored numbered parallels. I would be on the lookout and not advise things like this pink ice. Um, that I believe these were retail Walmart exclusive. I feel like this and like fast break numbered parallels, there's just so, so much like variety and so many, so many different types of prism cards. I would stick to the classics um, because I think those are the ones that are gonna hold the value and the ones that people are gonna recognize in the long term. So I guess getting into my last point for buying strategies is that what we've seen a lot recently is we've seen cards like this optic and this select run up in value a ton. So Prism used to outsell all of these by a mile. And the gap is really closing right now. And while previously I liked Optic, and I think I still like Select a little bit because I think there's some untapped value in the brand as a whole. I mean, we're approaching the point where Optic and Select have increased in price so much that Prism is starting to look like a surefire buy. It's not looking as overpriced anymore compared to those two. And I think that, especially when you look at it with like a long-term eye, I think that people are only gonna be thinking about one card as a player's true rookie. And in my opinion, that's gonna be the Prism. So when you're buying for the long-term, especially at the current market prices, I would be looking to Prism as the true rookie and I'd be picking up some of these for your collections. Anyways, I hope y'all enjoyed the video um, and stay tuned for the next one.